in position. She's dropping it! You ready, Kindleck? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady, Max Bombate! Grab it! Oh. Anya, now! Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die! is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Oh God, he is tot. Scheiße, das bin ich. Look, look, he's awake. Holy cow, the god of immortal space fish swimming in his fishbowl. Hail space fish. Mr. Blaskovich. Can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William. Seth is going to attach this to build a connection between your head and your new body. Anya. Kindle, please. I'm a Nazi guy. Family. Please come and help me here. Now. These are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm not asleep, I'm God, and you got and you got and you got and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William. I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Ketzele? Where's the Gizine? Where's the Gizine? Shim Shim. I get the Shim Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. Exhaust! Mix! Mix! 
I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. That's right, Mr. Bleskovich. Now, engage the battle walkers to reach to the top of the wall and climb over it. Yes, Mr. Bleskovich, yes! Now, experiment with the training course until you have familiarized yourself with your new ability. your wings. I don't need them anymore. You know, it's it's remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. You know, detention and public execution were the most well-guarded events in television history. They're protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. And still, you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When Grace's plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana, asked me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered bodies. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farmhouse. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper. Thank God you're back, buddy. I read a comic book once about an American superhero fighting Nazis. You remind me of him. He was also a cat. I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? In the garage? First time you tried to rescue me, Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> That's exactly what Super Spare said. Answer my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? Oh, 
Blaskovic. Oh, Herr Blaskovic, I saw what she did to you on the television broadcast. Oh, it was horrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry a thousand times. But now I really have to be. I'm so happy to see you alive again. <laughs> Might want to light a match or something. Oh, my God. That stinked. Should go see if Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. Hey, man, what's up? Super special was a crazy son of a bitch. Always yapping about space aliens and whatnot. Fuck. I am gonna miss that white boy. Is it true what they say, Connie? We are on the way to New Orleans? Yep. What is it that we are doing in New Orleans? Don't know. Some shit. I listen to Grace speak, but she speaks too fast for me. There is resistant fighters in New Orleans? Oh, right. Okay. Maybe they will help us fight the Nazis. Would that not be great? Word. You do not speak a lot, Connie. Do you know? I know. What happened to you when the bomb hit New York? You, you don't want to hear it. You can tell me, Connie. Nothing to tell. No? I think... You haven't told your story to anyone. Maybe it will help you feel better to talk about it. Papa, he told me it's not good to keep feelings inside. The sad feelings, they need to come out into the open, and, and then you see they're not so big and scary after all. All right. Eric, sirens. We're rigging. Taking shelter in subway. Ceiling caved in when bomb hit. Woke up. Smoke, fire, all around, dead bodies, arms and legs, blind people staggering, screams and crying. Air smelling of burnt hair. Dad's face melted off from the bones. Mom is on fire trying to stand up on broken feet. My little brother crushed under a concrete block, blood pooling on the railway tracks. <clears throat> then, Quiet. Oh, for fun, we get help with I'm so very sorry, Connie. Does it feel better to talk about it? No. Oh, okay. I will stop disturbing you then. Later. In West Virginia, earlier reports concerning riots following the nuclear terrorist attack in Roswell have been confirmed false. Official sources have now confirmed that the riots were actually a peaceful anti-terrorism demonstration. In other news, was Terror Billy's last victim his own father? Shortly after the execution of terrorist leader William Joseph Blaskowitz, the body of a male stabbing victim was uncovered at Terror Billy's childhood home in Mesquite, Texas. You okay? Ah, damn, Captain. You're indestructible. A human tank, that's what you are. In Warsaw, we have lots of spice on food. Yes? There. Hope it not tastes like shit. Tell me, why do people not speak to me? Well, uh, I... I don't know. Please, you can tell me. Do I look funny? No, signora. You are beautiful. I smell that. No, no. You smell good, like jasmine. Then why? You have, um, a lot of character. What's wrong with having character? No, I mean, you speak of strange things sometimes. Pardon? 
me say what the voice in my head tells me to say. Exacto. And the voice scares people. What did you tell Abraham the other day when he tried to speak to you during lunch? I told him about the time I spent at the hospital in Paris. What is wrong with that? And? And how I stabbed my doctor to death and cut him up to little pieces. That is what I'm talking about. But this is the truth. The doctor was going to put the drill in my head. Sometimes, Signora, truth is scary for people. Especially so during lunch. Gah. Mr. Blaskovich, I require your help. I have a friend, Mr. Stubbins. He forgot to take brain medication pills, and now he's mad in head. To old crew quarters he went, refusing to come out. He took sets microwave traps, using them to keep everyone away. We need to get him out of there quickly so I can give him medication pills for his brain. And please, not to hurt him any more than you can. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Captain. I will take care for Mr. Stubbins now. You know, stronger than you ever did, man. Keep on swimming, space fish. Ah! Ah, get off of me! Whoa, whoa, get off whoa, of me! Whoa, 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 why, why are you putting the scare on me, man? Oh, sorry, man. Oh, I just had this vision. What do you mean, vision? Ah, there's this pile of bodies stacked up outside our house, and I crawled out the window onto the pile, and I burrowed down to the bottom with these magical rats lived and they, they squeaked in my ear this most terrible wonderful secret this this world is a lie man this world is a lie no 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 this is not a good vision your head is in a bad place i'm okay Bombate. i'm all right it's just i'm tired because of this constant you know ringing in my ear no, no, just... take a break now get some sleep i'm all right just get some sleep now. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just... You are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? When? 
What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, Oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be it. It's, but it. Oh, Gotten you. Sir. Gotten you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blast. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto was home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there. So that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Shh. Like fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan districts. Got it. On Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. A long way we have come, fishman. Slowly the people are waking up. And payback is coming for the Nazis. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, my friend. Sad. Watch the trial, Mr. Blasco. What a fucking fuss. Reminded me of the circus the feds put on when they tried to frame Grace for murder. <sighs> I hope it's not too late, William. I've heard the reports from the New Orleans ghetto, and it's not looking very good. We have to rescue everyone. Happy now, Peg. KD, you are American? Yeah, honey. Why you ask? Did you watch movie before Nazis? Yeah. A couple of times with my husband. Love the movies. I was thinking, I am writer. Maybe I write movie? Seems like much fun. In English, huh? If I try hard, maybe I could do. Joseph Conrad was not English, yes? Well, I guess it's hard getting a movie made with the Nazi pigs in power. They put a lot of cash into the movie industry. Best way to feed propaganda to the people. Like that terror Billy movie they're making. I promise you, not one word will be true. But they'll sell it as if it was. Maybe I write book instead. Yes, 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 no, I must not be disturbed. Go away. Hello, Mr. Blaskowitz. Hey, you kind of like Jesus, Mr. Blaskowitz. The Nazis killed you like the Romans, and then you came back from the dead. Think about it. Hello to you, Captain. 
You good? Boldo's dead, brother. Don't know if anyone's told you. Haas 2 just dropped us off for a mission when he caught a bullet from a Nazi sniper. Poor bastard. Keep him in your prayers, Blazkowicz. Grace can be fucking infuriating sometimes, but I owe that woman my goddamn life. She'll do right by you, too. This involves a lot of mathematical equations, so it can be a bit complicated. But I am deeply familiar with the Enigma machine, so I think I will be efficient, Hebleskovich. You look good, Blaskowitz. Standing straight again. Blaskowitz, find a way inside the nuclear bunker before the radiation levels, you know, kill you. Nazis keep the stolen intel inside their command center. You gotta find your way in there. Das Gesundheitsministerium hat an den Amischuhen jeden Sport außer Gymnastik und echtem Fußball verboten. Oh, davon wusste ich nichts. Aber nicht nur an den Schulen. Willst du mal eine lustige Geschichte aus dem Arbeitslager in Baltimore hören? Na klar. 
Also, eines Tages fragt mich die Gefangenen, ob sie Sport machen dürfen. Ich sagte ihnen, dass das auf jeden Fall Fußball sein müsste. Kein Baseball, kein Handball. Nicht Handball. American Football. Ach ja, so nennen sie das. Also gab ich ihnen einen alten Fußball, den die Wachen in ihren Pausen benutzt hatten. Wissen die Cowboys denn überhaupt, wie man Fußball spielt? Sie haben es versucht, war sehr lustig. Rannten rum wie aufgescheuchte Hühner, völlig ohne Taktik. Und ständig lagen sie irgendwann aufeinander. Die haben sogar den Ball in die Hand genommen. Du machst Witze. Ich schwör bei Gott, es war so. Ach, das Lager fehlt. Ja, was ist damit überhaupt passiert? Geschlossen. Und sind die Gefangenen ausgegangen. Oh. Hm. Na dann. als atomare Einwände bestimmt mehr los. Wenn Onkel Gerhard zu Weihnachten einen Sitzen hatte, trug er immer einen Papierkorb als Zylinder und führte mit mir und meinen Cousins Broadway Tanznummern auf. War ein heiden Spaß, bis Oma sie stoppte. Bei uns lasen wir religiöse Texte und waren in besinnlicher Stimme. Musik und Tanzen? Traditionen sind heilig, so wie die Pflicht gegenüber dem Vaterland. Hm. Ein bisschen Musik würde die Moral hier unten anheben. Kieske hat ein Radio gefunden, kriegt aber wegen der Bleiwände kein Signal. Das neulich Terror will die Hinrichtung gezeigt. Das war lustig. Ja, war aber nach einer Sekunde schon vorbei. Sagt deine Frau auch immer. Hey. Ich weiß.
shooting cans with my BB gun. Except bigger can. Bigger gun. seems to be through that elevator shaft. Dossier Grace wanted. Guess that's my cue. Are you Nazis born in a barn? They're letting the radiation in. Achtung! Nördliche Dekontaminationskammer beschädigt. An alle Mitarbeiter legen Sie umgehend Ihr Atemgerät an. Ich wiederhole. Nördliche Dekontaminationskammer beschädigt. An alle Mitarbeiter legen Sie umgehend Ihre Atemgeräte an. I see you. Approaching now.
<laughs> we make a good team, you and I. Oh, shit. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yinkala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry! You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry! <sighs> All right. Sigrun got the Enigma Terminal working again. Noticed. What's it for? Just sits there in the helm asking for Enigma codes. What the fuck is an Enigma code? Nazi commanders carry them. Top secret encrypted information. That is what Signorina Sigrun say. Mm -mm, I don't trust that Nazi girl, brother. Va bene. But if she's right, that terminal could help us locate top Nazi commanders. We've never been able to do that before. Yeah, I don't know, man. The girl is Frau Ingram's own damn daughter. I know, say I like her, but the information could be useful. Mm -mm. Should check out this Enigma machine everyone's so jazzed up about. <laughs> you see, little buddy, space cats and unicorns. You wouldn't expect them to hit it off, but they do, man. <laughs> they really do. What's going on, Captain? Don't think I've ever seen you look this good, Captain. You look different, Captain. Elongated. The voice tells me you are still the same, but how can we be sure, huh? Gabriella, propaganda broadcast. Did you trace the signal? Yes, the signal operators trace it to a transmission station in Florida. Said say they're adding images into television broadcasts that are so short, you don't know you have seen them. They say they affect the mind subconsciously. Subconsciously. Yes, that's what I say. Images burn into mind make you think what they want you to think. Brainwashing. Jeez, we really ought to destroy that station, don't you think? I spoke with Grace. She says we will plan mission after the New Orleans operation. I want to go now, but she say, calm down, Sister Gabriela. I say, I want to shoot Nazis. You'll get to shoot plenty of Nazis soon enough, sweetheart. Dios mío, I hope so.
It's a life and death situation. You got to help me, man. All right, D. I was doing inventory in the ammo depot when this gigantic asshole of a rat jumped straight at me like it got rabies or some shit. Biggest rat I ever seen in my life. Big as a dog. If I hadn't been so lucky that a box fell on top of it and trapped it, man, I, I'm not sure what would have happened. You got to go to the ammo depot and kill it, man. Be careful not to get bit. I guarantee the motherfucker will give you tetanus or God knows what else. Running high, little guy. Ain't your fault you're a rat. Damn, you got balls, baby. Thanks. Can sleep easy now knowing that fucking monster rat ain't coming to claw my eyes out. Scary shit, man. Mr. Blaskovich, as writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend, Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you are out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. Hello there. Oh, William, I wish we could spend some time alone, but we're so close to New Orleans. I just hope it's not too late. The reports are very worrying. Nazis relentlessly slaughtering everyone, burning everything. These poor, poor people. Let's go. 
Thank you.